A man of quiet genius passed this way last night. He didn't want his name in the lights, he wanted it in brackets. That's what he said. He wanted others to sing the songs he wrote in their own way because nobody could sing them his way. And this happened. In a big hall in a big city, not his, for which he once wrote a big non-anthem. Trust Michael to give the place something that didn't bargain for. Listen, that's the sound of high-yield yins sucking in their cheeks. So the stage was set, and onto it came wonderful musician singers. Among them his son and daughter, his brother and others who had been the oldest friends and cronies and none untouched by a special craft and gift, to play and sing his songs in their own ways, and two thousand of us to there to listen. And we were the ones, in brackets. What left me high and dry and stranded came in the end, after his daughter had stood centre stage alone but not really alone, and sung the song he told her he was his finest. She did it with such bravery and love. You could hear him give his proudest affirmation, good girl. They came back on, those comparers of his music world, and finished the night with only song they could. And all his wise humanity came flooding in and pouring out, and nothing to stop the tears from falling. Two thousand souls rose and applauded to the one who wasn't there that provoked another final song, and I felt a lightness where just before there had been such a heavy weight. I thought of the osprey nest he used to watch, his solitude for the chick, his pleasure seeing it lift from the nest for the first time, learning flight and sudden knowledge that it could be done, and Michael, gone yet with us still, as long as we have ears to hear and breath to sing. To rise above his loss is a fitting tribute. No house room for the notion that we can't. To rise like a bird that lives and flies, and knows itself alive. And we will be well, they sang, and it will. Alice Maria.